Another round of voting in India's six-week-long general elections. In this phase, voters across 10 states and union territories are casting their ballots. Many in the South and East, where support for the governing BJP is not as strong as it is in the North, unemployment and inflation are among the main concerns. The main issue is inflation. The prices of everything have increased. The voting has been done based on this issue. I think unemployment levels should come down. Prices should come down. High electricity bills should also come down. If I vote for the right candidate, hopefully all these things will be addressed. Voters in India administered Kashmir are also queuing at polling stations. It's the first parliamentary election since 2019, when the central government revoked the region's special status. And with it, a degree of autonomy, its own constitution, and several rights and protections. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's BJP is not contesting three key seats in the Muslim-majority area. Analysts say it signals unhappiness with the 2019 decision. Actually, if it is a success story, as Modi has been claiming everywhere, and his party has been trumpeting it everywhere, then they should have come and fought elections over here. and sort the mandate of the people or endorsement of the people. They are skeptical themselves, and they are scared of fighting elections directly. But for some voters, the region's special status is not the issue. Rather, it's development. We're voting to elect a member to the Indian parliament who will address issues like Kashmir, human rights and development, in order to improve the ground situation here and enhance education and health sectors. When this phase ends on Monday, roughly two-thirds of India's constituencies would have voted. Election Commission figures suggest turnout so far is lower than that of 2019. The final round of voting will be held on June 1st, and results are expected three days later. Imran Allah Khan, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.